Here at 5 o'clock, we want to welcome you to Up With Krim. I'm Joshua Robinson, and this is what the scene looked like last night from the Spokane Fire Department. They arrived at the scene of a brush fire in the Palouse Highway and Valley Chapel Road area. Now, this video you're seeing isn't blurry. That's just what it looked like from the amount of dust that was blowing in the area. Traffic was at a standstill on the highway as dust mixed with high winds to make for a dangerous fire. Brandon T. Jones joins us from the area this morning. Hey, Brandon, what's the latest? Good morning, Joshua. Well, it's still very windy from where I'm standing out here on the Palouse Highway. Every now and then I have to brace myself just to make sure I don't get knocked over by these strong winds. Definitely not as bad, so I really couldn't imagine what firefighters dealt with last night because even on the drive out here, there was just scattered pine needles all over the place. A couple of trees were down on the side of the road. I even woke up to a tree that was right next to my apartment that was knocked down because of those strong winds. But like I said, the situation is a lot more calm out here right now. Uh, we did speak with the fire department. They gave us some information, so I'll read out that to you right now. At first, they were not sure about how big this fire was because of all the dust. I witnessed some of the dust that was floating around here in the area just on the drive out here, so not as bad, but there was still a couple of uh, uh, bursts of wind that just shook up all of that dust. There weren't any evacuations, but there were some structures at risk. I know uh, there's a lot of space in between the, the homes and the property out here. So uh, there were no structures that were, uh, that were damaged and the fire department got here pretty quickly. Lonnie Rash from Spokane Fire District 8 spoke to Krim last night and this is what he had to say. So we had no evacuations. We did have structures that were threatened. We had engines there very rapidly. Um, we were able to move the fire around that. But at this point, the fire is contained. Um, we have crews who will be out there all night monitoring, making sure that nothing kicks up with this wind. Um, all the homes are back and safe at this point. And you can probably still hear some of the strong winds that are coming through the microphone. But yeah, we're out here and kind of just waiting for the sun to rise a little bit more to see a little bit more of the damage. But as for now, the fire department says they do not know how the fire started, but they're going to continue to investigate. And we'll stay out here as well just to see if we can get a better look at some of the damage that happened in the area. Joshua. We'll be checking with you throughout the morning, Brandon. We appreciate it. This morning, we are also tracking a number of power outages. Here are the latest numbers from around the inland northwest. Now, right now, Avista is reporting over 2,400 2400,000 customers without power across Washington and Idaho. This morning, inland power is reporting over 3,400 outages in the area. Most of those outages are in Spokane County. And Kootenai Electric is reporting just over 1,200 power outages. And of course, we're going to keep you updated on all those outages all morning long and as well on Krem.com.